Hi guys, Squirrel here, and welcome to the CRH380A. Oh yes, this is one of the monsters of the Chinese high-speed rail network, the CRH380A, capable of some insane speeds. And today I'm on a scenario where we're going to try it out, we're testing it. It's a test scenario that comes with the Southwest China high-speed rail network. Uh, both of these things are available from Just Trains. Uh, Just Trains.net sell the CRH380A and the Southwest China High Speed Network. And basically, the scenario is that we have to reach. I'll show you. We are currently, center player, here. And we have to get to this goal, which is here. And by the time we get here, we have to be doing 442 kilometers per hour. Yep, 442 kilometers per hour. And then our final destination is Suning Platform, here, where we have to stop and let off the inspectors. So the first thing we need to do is open the door and let the inspectors on board. So they kind of got to get on and that kind of thing. Meanwhile, let me show you inside the cab. This is the cab. Now, I have to say the cab itself is fairly basic and most of the buttons don't really work, uh, which is kind of disappointing. Uh, some of the earlier CRH trains that we looked at, the 1A and the 2A, um, I think were implemented a bit more thoroughly. Uh, sorry to sound a little bit negative about it, but it is a little bit basic. For example, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, that doesn't work, doesn't work, doesn't work. You see what I mean? It's all very kind of, well, what does work? Well, that one does, and that one does. <laughs> That's the wiper speed. There's a, there's two two-speed wiper switch. Uh, let's not worry about the time. We're, we're not under any time pressure here. The scenario is get there in that in that speed at that goal. So we're not going to worry about that. First thing you got to do is turn on the master key, and then you've got to put the pantograph on, which is here, and those two lights come on there, and that powers up the system. Um, this one is the battery meter. That is the voltage coming through from the pantograph, and that is the brake pressure. So for some reason, when you turn the engine on, the brake pressure actually comes down to zero, which could just be a feature of the scenario, I'm not sure. In terms of the computer display, nothing actually happens here. Um, that shows us that we've currently got a, um, a green... We can turn the monitor on and off. That's currently got a green signal, and the next, uh, the currently applying speed limit is 90 kilometers per hour, and then that will show you the next speed limit and distance here, and that's the next signal. That's what it's doing. Over on here, it's got this thing, um, it's called continuous braking and cruise control. Basically what that's saying is it's showing us a visual clue of the track speeds, so that's 90. Within that limit, as a driver, we can do whatever we like, but if we try to go above that limit, then the train's brakes will come on and it'll bring it bound to tr back down to track speed. Now the interesting thing about that is that when the speed comes down, like say you're doing, I don't know, 300 kilometers per hour, and the track speed goes down to 160, then what happens is it goes beep and it shows you the curve and it starts to descend down here and you have to follow it with the brake, which makes it nice and comfortable for the passengers. However, uh, the interesting thing is if you don't do anything, the, the train just does it anyway. So in other words, you don't even need to worry about signals. It's quite funny. You, the only freedom you really get is within this zone here. Everything else, um, if there's a red signal, a yellow signal, a track speed limit coming up, it'll just do it anyway. So it's kind of funny. Yep, we know what we need to do. Uh, so the other thing is we're going to put on the headlights, which I think is that one there. Let's just check that. Um, there we go. So we've got the headlights. I mean, it's a lovely design train. It's a beautiful train, the CRH uh, 380. It's, it's sleek, super sleek. I remember watching a program about how they even, you know, just had to make that glass capable of withstanding impacts at 400 kilometers per hour. It's, it's quite a cool um, piece of technology, this thing. But let's get on the road, or not rather on the track. Uh, so what we need to do is put the reverser into forward, and we start to accelerate. Now this is the regulator here. You can see there's a number. That is the regulator setting, and this is the brake setting. So if I put the brake on, you'll see that come on like that. Uh, regulator and brake, and obviously the speed is here. So what I'll aim to do normally is start to accelerate, and then when we get to about 85, you hit this button. That enables the cruise control. So, the track speed. Now, let me just tell you about the CRH380A. So, basically, this thing is uh, operates normally um, at around 350 kilometers per hour, which is about 250 miles per hour. That's the normal cruise speed uh, when it's in commercial service. Um, but it, it, it is capable of running up to 380 um, on a commercial service. That's its maximum speed that it's allowed on the Chinese rail network. However, 
which is enable cruise control there, that locks that in, you see that flashing, so it won't go any faster than that now. You can leave the uh, regulator in maximum, it'll just take care of the rest. Uh, you can see this is kicking in now, um, this will come on shortly to tell us what the next track speed is, and then it'll, it'll transfer up here. When this reaches zero, that will transfer into here, there we go. So that's now operate, that's kicking us up to 350 limit. What it's basically said is, you are now free to do what the hell you like, there you go. It finally caught up with it. 350 is the current limit, so I'm just going to let it accelerate and talk, and you can have a look at the scenery. Hopefully the frame rate will keep up with this, but I mean, I have to say, once this thing picks up speed, it's it's really going to be flying. So it'll be interesting to see how the engine copes with it graphically. Um, this train, when it was being tested, they tested it up to 416 kilometers per hour, which is 260 miles per hour. Which is lower than the uh, the scenario. The scenario is testing get at 442, I think. So, which is incredibly fast. Why is my truck? I didn't. I thought I disabled my cruise control. Derp. I thought I. Did I thought I clicked that. Did I not click that? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Let me just show you inside. Uh, if you press the number five key, you can see as a passenger. I mean, obviously, I can't understand that, but you can understand that. That's our current speed, 112, 117. And you get a nice little view out the window. Unfortunately, there's only a backward-facing seat at the moment. There's, you can, there's two seats. There's that one and this one. This one's like an aisle seat. Uh, you can see all the window labels here. And this is a... Does the blinds work? No. So there's, there's no op nothing operable that you can click on. It's just a nice little thing that you can sit in. Which is kind of nice. You've even got footrest down here, look. Uh, and then you've got the back of it, and you can kind of start to get a feel for how fast we're going now. Let's press the number 4 key. Now, I'm going to toot the horn in a second. Now, please don't laugh. Please don't laugh, alright? You would expect a train of this calibre, of this speed, of such insanity speeds and technology, you would expect it to have a very scary, monstrous horn, wouldn't you? You would have thought, if you press the horn on this thing, you own the rail. But no, that's not what you get. What you actually get is this. Which, I have to say, is, um, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. I've actually had a better horn, I think, on my Hornby Railway set when I was a kid. Um, yeah, there's not much can be said about that, apart from let's do that again. Because it really beggars belief. I can't imagine the driver of this train ever wanting to press that horn button, ever, because of the embarrassment. It's like pressing the embarrassment button. And I don't even know what passengers... Like, people stood around the countryside thing when that thing goes off. It's like, what the heck is that? <laughs> was that was that the train? Wow. Anyway, that's the uh, the fun part of it. So nothing else seems to work over here um, that I could figure out. The manual itself... I think you can punch the number in, actually. I think that's the one thing you can do. We can't on this service, but I think you can punch the service number into here. And I think it appears on the, on the side there. But later Just Trains uh, trains, as you saw when I did the Railjet Advanced, um, they are a lot more a lot more detailed in the implementation than this one. This one's not terribly detailed. The, the main thing about this one is it's fun. I mean, it goes stupidly quick, as we're about to find out. Now, you see we're approaching 350. The, the speed limit then reaches, lifts up to 380 at 0.1 kilometers, which is that marker there. Boom, 350. And then in two and a half kilometers, we're, we're going to go up to 500. So I'm just going to leave it on max right now. Maximum speed. Max, sorry, maximum throttle. Because I'm hoping my speed will uh, have caught up to that. Now, the, the weird thing is about this. Is this limit only goes up to 400. So when we're going above 400, as in when we get to 442, it's not actually going to show on this dial anymore. So we're going to have to just look at that bit. There you go. Our track speed limit has been raised to 500 for test purposes. And if I quickly see where we are, we are here. And it's not actually that far to the goal, is it? Uh, 18 and a half. Wow, look at that come down. 18 kilometers. Look at. Oh my god. We're only doing 384. Um, actually, we're going uphill as well. You see this incline here, 10.0? That's actually replicated here, so you don't even need to bring this thing up half the time. You can actually get a lot of the information you need from here. 
So that's an upward incline, which is why we're going slowly. Um, and we're only 16 away, and we're only doing... We're not even... We are 50 kilometres short. That's quite worrying. We need a downhill stretch, I think. Or a fair wind or something, or something to just shunt us over to 440. But yeah, it's a pretty nice looking train, isn't it? It's obviously got the, the test track skin on it. It's kind of gold skin, which must be the skin they used during testing, I guess. 401, yes! We broke 400. But we're still going uphill. I would imagine that this thing on a flat on a flat section of track could probably do about 400, 420. Uh, I think to get to 450, 442, sorry, I think maybe we're going to have to go downhill. So, hopefully that's what we're about to do. Just keep my eye on, on the... Uh, on the incline meter here. But look at the scenery! It's absolutely flying by. It's a shame we don't have any motion blur on this, because these things will be f absolutely whizzing past you. If you imagine this speed right now, that's like... We are doing 420, which is about 265 miles per hour. Which is um, faster than I've ever been, except on a plane. And probably it will stay that way for the rest of my life. <laughs> 432. Where's the goal? Okay, 6.5k. Look how fast this is. Oh my god. What's it like from a... Whoa. Now that is quick. You could close your eyes for a couple of seconds and that train will have left. That is insane. Here we go. 437. 438, we're three kilometers away. We need to reach 442 to complete scenario. We are going downhill. This is insane. 440. Come on, son. Four oh, wow, look at it. It's at the limit. 441. We wouldn't even be doing this speed if it wasn't for gravity. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Why won't you tick over? 442. There it is. 442 as we pass the, the goal. Great, you successfully reached 442. Slow down. Nope, I'm having too much fun. Oh, it's flattening out. I was hoping we could get 445 out of it or something crazy. Uh, where's the next task? 25 kilometers away. We have a speed drop back down to 350. Oh, God. I really had better slow down, actually. Because 6 kilometers will not... I yeah, know. I know. I know I need to slow down. Let's get the brakes on. At these speeds, 5k um, disappears in a matter of, well, about 30 seconds or something. Let's get it down to 350. Look at this station platform! Wow, can you imagine being stood at that platform when something comes through at 300 kilometers per hour? That would be absolutely amazing. Right, we're down at 350. We are 20 kilometers away. Uh, I'm going to lock the cruise in and just keep it at that, I think. So I'm going to put the regulator all the way up to max and just let it figure it out. The computer just regulates the amount of power being applied, which is fine. Makes it easy. I mean, that's the weird thing, isn't it, about trains these days? Like, th this kind of thing represents like, high-end technology. And although they're amazingly fast, they're actually getting easier and easier to drive because of automation. It's the same thing on the on the aircraft. If you jump into a, a modern commercial aircraft, there's so much automation going on. Um, which, you know, obviously improves driver safety, improves train safety and, and aircraft safety because this thing will not let you break the speed limit. That's the bottom line. Um, as good or bad a driver as you are, you cannot break the speed limit. But at the same time, it makes them less interesting to drive because there's kind of less work to do. The automation means just less for you to do. Which is good and bad in a way. I think I'm going to... Uh, actually, how far away? 15. Let's have a look outside here because I can... Oh, there's this bridge coming up. Lovely bridge. It's a lovely bit of scenery. I do like the gold and the grey though. It does look nice. I want a trackside view. It keeps giving me that overhead view, but I actually want to stand at the trackside and just... Hang on, that's 12. Okay, all right. 160 coming up in 8.5 kilometers, so it is time to just... I'll just throttle down and wait. 
Okay, there's a, a signal warning coming up for 300, so let's start to decelerate. At the very least, let's get it under 300. There we go. Alright, so that's 300. Whoops, I just pressed the wrong key. <laughs> I meant to press the 2 key, that's what I meant to press, and I pressed the F1 key. Now we've got a one, there we go, 230 limit coming up. Let's get the brakes on. 15% gradient, look at that. It's a pity we couldn't do the test through that bit. It's been fun, I mean, it's very rare, even in the game you get to drive a train at those sort of speeds. Incredibly fast. When they do bring out this new train simulator with the Unreal Engine, I'd be interested to try this thing again. Just to see if, um, if you get any kind of greater or lesser sense of speed. I would imagine if you were to do it in real life, it would feel scarily fast. That's what I imagine. Nice bridge. Let's get the braking on. Get it down to 160. So I don't think we're going to get anywhere near 160. <laughs> Looking at this. Oh yeah, maybe we will actually. The braking's pretty good. We need to drop our inspectors off here. There we go. 160. 3.7 kilometers away. I tell you what, in China, they do like these massively high bridges, don't they? I can't believe how many scenarios I've got in China that are like this. Just everything is up on this enormously high platform. It must have taken so long to build, like, each one of these concrete columns. And there are just miles and miles and miles of them. Right, so you see the current speed limit has now come down to 160. It should be coming down to 90. I didn't show you the wiper, did I? Let me show you the wiper. Okay, so that's normal speed, and then you put that one on there. And that gives you a fast speed. Now, did you hear that beep then? Did you see that? I've got to follow that curve now. It's basically telling me to follow that, that curve. I have to get down to 45. And this, it's reducing this, and my braking is reducing the actual speed. And that's the marker there. So it's basically coming down, predicting when we need to, when we get here, it'll be at 45. But as you can see, I've braked slightly too late, because I was messing about with wipers. There you go. That'll do. And then I'm going to press cruise control, throttle up, and it'll just lock it in. And that is how it works. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, we are coming into the platform, so I shall turn off my uh, headlights, not to dazzle everybody. Not that there's going to be anybody there, really. I mean, let's face it, it's a, uh, a test scenario. Well, yeah, that's been the CRH380 from Just Trains. Uh, if you buy the train, be aware that um, you're going to have to free play it unless... There's a couple of scenarios they do where the train actually works. This is one of them, the Southwest China High Speed Rail Network, and there's another one called the Chengdu Suning High Speed Routes. They do a couple of routes, but when you go to the page, you'll see it anyway, so... They just make it a little bit more fun by giving you some scenarios, but you can just free play it if you want to mess about in this thing. We are, I'll start braking now, ready to stop, where's the back of the train? Yeah, that's the burp thing, so it's going to basically, it's detected there's a red signal here, and my speed was going too fast, so it's just basically enforcing the braking. Sunning! Yeah, that's pretty cool back there, isn't it? Look at that. Let's open the doors.
Let the inspectors off. And that was what it feels like to go 442 kilometers per hour in a train. <laughs> the CRH380A. Scenario complete. Actually, I think we got there early. Look at that. I was a bit worried then the scenario was not going to complete. Hello! Don't you get on this train, love. Don't even think about it. This is a test train. You're not allowed. You have successfully finished the task. Woohoo! Targets complete. Two out of two. Distance travel 124 kilometers. Look at that. It's insane. Let me just quickly show you um, where that scenario comes from. Go to standard. There you go. That was that one. The Southwest high, high China High Speed Rail Network, and you get all of these scenarios in the CRH380A. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Until next time, take care. Happy driving.